fam, Alexa Rains here with another reaction. So today we're going to continue with our Star Trek journey, and this time with Season 2, episode titled The Doomsday Machine. So as always, if you're looking for the full-length reaction to this particular episode or any of my other content, you can find that on Patreon, and the link will be in the description below. And also, if you want to support this channel and um, help propel our channel forward, you can do so by subscribing, commenting, and liking this video. So without further ado, let's get into our episode. All right. If you see light spots in the video, you don't why it's because it's super bright. Definitely came from one of the solar systems in this sector, Captain. Can you pinpoint it any closer, Lieutenant? I haven't seen him wear this in a long time. All we got was the name Constellation. Sensors show this entire solar system has been destroyed. What does that mean? How come? Nothing left but rubble and asteroids. That's incredible. The star in this system is still intact. Only a Nova could destroy like that. Nonetheless, Captain, sensors show nothing but debris where we charted seven planets last year. Shit, seven the planets? Yes. Captain, the two innermost planets of this system appear to be intact. Sir, I'm picking up a ship's disaster beacon. Try to raise it, Lieutenant. Have it on the sensors, Captain. By configuration, <coughs> stopped in space, she appears to be drifting. No answer, Captain. All I get is the automatic beacon. Sensor is not recording normal energy output. Approach course, Mr. Silo. Gosh, she was pretty. Red alert. Red alert. Man your battle stations. Red alert. Red alert. Man your battle stations. Oh. The USS Constellation. I'm also enjoying like learning about new ships because then I'm wondering if I'm going to see them again in subsequent Very good. And um, Star Treks. Scan of the immediate area for any other vessel. Aye. Lieutenant Palmer. I can't raise the constellation, sir. I'm still getting the distress beacon. It's There's dead. No subspace interference. It's almost blocking the signal. Keep trying. Oh, I like that. How they made the they made the rock explode. It's almost like they left. They saw something and they left. Damage check, and I'm going to have a look at those engines. Crew wasn't abducted. They just left. Yeah. yeah. Enterprise. Enterprise. Spock here. No survivors. No bodies either. Is it possible they were beamed down to one of the two planets? Improbable, Captain. The surface temperature of the inner planet is that of molten lead. Oh shit. That that thing. What thing? What was it? it? Answer me. What was it? What happened, Matt? Jim. Give him a minute. He's in a state of shock. What happened to your crew? Oh, I, I had to beam them down. Oh, we, we were dead. No power or phasers, useless. I stayed behind. Last man. But I thought. Captain, last man aboard the ship. That's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? But I thought molten yeah, lava, uh, mol molten and the, lead or whatever. Transporter went out. And then poisonous. And then down there and I, I'm up here. Right out of hell. I saw it. I don't understand. On the third planet. There is no third planet. Don't you think I know that? There was. But not anymore. Oh, he they called me. They begged me for help. Four hundred of them. It destroys planets, chops them into rubble. Well, what is it? An alien ship, or is it alive, or is both, it... or neither? I don't know. Your log stated that the fourth planet was breaking up. You went in to investigate. We saw this thing hovering over the planet, slicing out 
chunks of it with a force beam. Did you run a scanner check on it? What kind of a beam? Pure anti-proton. Absolutely pure. She was attacked by what appears to be essentially a robot. An automated weapon of immense size and power. Oh. Its apparent function is to smash planets to rubble and then oh. digest the debris for fuel. It is therefore self-sustaining as long as there are planetary bodies for it to feed on. A robot weapon. What? Purposely destroys entire solar system. Why? Who created that and why? Why? Unknown. That's what I ask. Find that it came from outside, from another galaxy. What is the oh. course of this thing? If it follows its present path, it will go through the most densely populated section of our galaxy. You're the doomsday machine? No, I'm a doctor, not a mechanic. It's a weapon. Built primarily as a bluff. It's never meant to be used. So strong it could destroy both sides of the war. Something like the old H bomb was supposed to be. That's what I think this is. A doomsday machine that somebody used in a war uncounted years ago. Red alert. Red alert. Come on. Where are we going on a red alert for? Oh Looks shit! Very much like Commodore Decker's planet killer. And it is pursuing us. Yeah, that's just scary. It looks like an eye. If it's a robot. What, are the what do you mean if? I thought it was. I say none, Captain. Shit. The energy generated by our power nacelles seems to attract it. I doubt we could maneuver close enough without drawing a direct attack upon ourselves. I also believe the nature of this machine precludes the possibility of easy access to its control mechanisms. It's closing on us, Mr. Spock. Closing, Captain. All right, lower your deflector screens long enough to beam us aboard. Acknowledged. Status report. Impulse and warp engines operative, transporter and communications under repair. Random chance seems to have operated in our favor. In plain non-Vulcan English, yeah. we've been lucky. I believe yes. I said that, Doctor. <laughs> it's veering off. Back on course for the next solar system. We'll maintain a discreet distance and circle back to pick up the captain. You can't let that thing reach Rigel. Why, millions of innocent people would die. I am aware of the Rigel system's population, Commodore, but we are only one ship. Our deflector shields are strained. Our subspace transmitter is useless. Logically, our primary duty is to survive in order to warn Starfleet Command. Our primary duty is to maintain life and the safety of Federation planets. Do you deny that? Belay that last order, Helmsman. 180 degree turn, hard about. We're going to attack. With what? Carry out my last order, Mr. Sula. Mr. Spock, I am officially notifying you that I am exercising my option under regulations as a Starfleet Commodore and that I am assuming command of the Enterprise. Mm. You tried to destroy it once before. Exactly. You killed everybody. Sorry, I, you, you didn't and kill anybody, crew. but your crew is all dead, so now you want to kill a whole new crew i made a mistake then we were too far away this time i'm going to hit it with full phasers at point blank range sensors show the object's hull is solid neutronium a single ship cannot come exactly you can't let him do this doctor you are out of line so are you yes so are you sir he is hella wrong. Like Commodore Decker, medically or psychologically unfit for command. I can relieve him under Section C. I'll certify that right now. Thank you. I'll also be asked to produce your medical records to prove it. Now, you know I haven't had time to run an examination on him. You may leave the bridge, Doctor. Well, what about the captain? We can't leave. Doctor. You may leave the bridge. Oh, 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 Spock. oh, I do not like do you. Something. 
Mr. Spock knows his duty under regulations, Doctor. Do you? We don't like you. Hard about, Helmsman. Course, 32 degrees mark 10. Deflectors at full power. Ready on main phaser banks. Aye, aye, sir. If anything happens to them, I'm holding you personally responsible. You. Oh! I have so many names I want to call him right now. We must retreat, Commodore. The energy drain. I'm in command here, Mr. Spock. You should not be in command, stupid. Ready to give it a try? Uh, just one minute, sir. Scotty, how you doing? Controls are all hooked up, sir. We should have some power for you soon. Yeah, it's your the stupid ass idiot that's doing this. To do what? Like it, it's not even doing anything. Just bounced off. No shit. I urgently recommend immediate withdrawal. Recommendation noted. Maintain course. Fire. To do what? Correct Enterprise, come in. You just gotta piss it off! Spock, come in. Correct Enterprise. Sir, deflector shields are gone. Sir, deck seven reports power failure in main energizers. Implementing emergency procedures, sir. Severe casualties reported on decks three and four. We're being held in a tractor beam. We're being pulled inside, Commodore. Stupid. You're off. Maintain phaser fire, Helmsman. To do what? Warp power. If we don't break the tractor beam within 60 seconds, we never will. But don't you understand? We've got to destroy it. Ah, you're... That's mm. is illogical. Thank you. Suicide. Attempted Idiot. Suicide would be proof that you are psychologically unfit for command. Yes, yes. You don't take him off. off. Take him off. I shall relieve you on that basis. Yes, take him off. Now, now. Keep pouring it on, Scotty. I still don't know what we're doing. We're moving. <laughs> the Enterprise isn't. Maybe that thing will see us. Let the Enterprise go. I only had some phasers. Phasers? You've got them. I have one bank recharged. Scott, just earned your pay for the week. <laughs> well, loose, Commodore. Good boy, Jim. Between the two of us, we'll kill that thing. No, you're not. Not it worked. Great. So trying to kill it. Just you need more people. I think it's great. Scotty, get us out of here. It's closing fast on the constellation. We can maintain this speed for only seven hours before we exhaust our fuel. But it can refuel itself indefinitely. Then we'll have to fight it now before it gets any stronger. You can't Roger, fight it. We cannot destroy it. Therefore, we cannot save Rigel. We must transport the captain and the others from the constellation and escape this thing's subspace interference in order to warn Starfleet. Exactly. Mr. Spock, we've pierced the interference locally. Enterprise, come in. Mr. Spock, I am still in command and I will speak for this ship. Enterprise to Kirk. Commodore Decker speaking. Matt, what's going on? Give me Mr. Spock. I'm in command here, Jim. What happened to Spock? Nothing. I assumed command according to regulations. Since your first officer was reluctant to take aggressive action against the... I mean, you're the lunatic who's responsible for almost... Yes, my ship. he's the lunatic. ...to a senior officer, Kirk. Warp drive out. Deflector shields down. Transporter under repair. We are on emergency impulse power. How long to repair warp drive? At least one solar day. At our present rate of consumption, we'll exhaust our impulse power long before then. It's gaining on us, sir. Take evasive action, Mr. Sulu. I told you I am in command here and I will give the orders, Captain. We are going to turn and attack. You're not going to attack. Mr. Spock, relieve Commodore Decker immediately. That's a direct order. Commodore Decker, you are relieved of command. Finally. I don't recognize your authority to relieve me. 
You may file a formal protest with Starfleet Command, assuming we survive to reach a star base. But you are relieved. Get the fuck out of the chair, Come dude. On. I do not wish to place you under arrest. You're bluffing. Vulcans never bluff. No. No, I don't suppose that they do. Very well, Mr. Spock. The bridge is yours. Really? That's what you're going to do? You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. If you want to die, go die. It's fine. <laughs> I don't care about you, sir. I do not care about you, sir. It's too late, sir. Yeah, die. Can we say? We tried. We tried to save your ass. You wanted to die with your crew? Go ahead. Kirk Enterprise, why are you launching a shuttlecraft? Whoever it is, Captain, has no authorization. Shuttlecraft to Enterprise. Decker here. Commodore, I must insist that you return to the ship. You said it yourself, Spock. There is no way to blast through the hull of that machine, so I'm going to take this thing right down its throat. All right, then. <laughs> I don't feel bad for I'm sorry. I've been prepared for death ever since I... You got the since rest of your crew. crew. Yep. No one expects you to die for an error in judgment. The commander is responsible for the lives of his crew. Yes, he is. Their deaths. And you almost made it happen again. I should have died with mine. You okay. You succeed, Commodore. Your only logical alternative is to return to the ship. He's not being logical. He's being emotional. And irrational. That's what he was waiting for this whole time. Our ship commander. That makes you a valuable commodity. We need you. Your experience, your judgment. Matt. We're stronger with you than without you. Oh, Kirk is a good man. You can see the difference between the two of them. But when it eats you, what are you going to do? Like, are you going to explode? Like, cause you're tiny compared to that thing. So I'm not sure what you were trying to accomplish. Well, it happened. It's gone. It's not your fault, Kirk. You did all that you could. You wouldn't listen. Kirk, yeah. Sir, may I offer my condolences on the death of your friend? It is most regrettable. It's regrettable that he died for nothing. Mm-hmm. It was so totally avoidable. Spock, sensors indicate a minute drop in the machine's power emanations. Transporter operational. All right, let's get the captain back aboard. in. Negative. Mr. Oh, man. I will stay here, but being the damage I... Oh, are they going to do the same thing, but with the ship? Send the ship through the mouth? Spotless. And then have that explode? Maybe Matt Decker didn't die for nothing. He had the right idea, but not enough power to do it. Because he was tiny! Am I correct in assuming that a fusion explosion of 97 megatons will result if a Starship impulse engine is overloaded? Will it be powerful enough to destroy that thing out there? Negative, Captain. Its hull is pure neutronium. There is no known way of blasting through it. Not through it, Spock. From inside it. Mm -hmm. Will it be enough? Insufficient data. I shall try to take further sensor readings. Do the best you can and make it fast. Scotty, can you set the ship's impulse engines to overload? Aye. The shape that thing's in, it's hard to keep it from blowing. <laughs> I want you to rig a 30-second delay detonation device and rig it so that it can be blown from up here. Aye, sir. Set it and get up here as fast as you can. Right away. I'm going to ram her right down that thing's throat. Yeah. You'll be killed, just like Decker. No, no, I don't intend to die, Mr. Spark. We've rigged a delayed detonation device. You'll have 30 seconds to beam me aboard the Enterprise before the Constellation's impulse engines blow. Your chances Good. of survival are not promising. Press this one. 30 seconds later. Poof. Once it's activated, there's no way to stop it. Understood. 
Oh shit, man. They are finicky. What's the matter with that thing? It's a power drain somewhere, sir. I almost lost you. It'll never work like this. It's the main junction circuitry. I'll get it. Bridge, transporter operational. But this jury rigging won't last for long. He's got to come Let's now. hurry I'll up. Here. 1,500 miles in closing. Captain, transporter operational, but just barely. Prepare to beam me aboard on my signal. in closing transporter stand by steady boy sir now beam me aboard energize energize <gasps> it's shorted out again this is cutting it too close beam me aboard we can't captain transporter is out again mr scott 20 seconds to detonation oh gosh oh gosh why 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 is this happening why is this happening Oh my god! There's a bunch of explosions. Mr. Scott, try in first phasing. Thirteen. Gentlemen, I suggest you beam me aboard. Like yesterday. Nine. Eight. Mr. Seven, Scott. Now. Six, try now, Mr. Kyle. Five. Oh, it did. It died. Oh my God! Thank you, Jesus. He's okay. Bridge, we got him through. Oh my God! <laughs> this was way too much. It's dead. You did it, Jim. Yay! He did it. Oh, I love our captain. Sensors show all energy sources deactivated. It's quite dead. <laughs> Mr. Sulu, ease us back to minimum headway. Conserve power as much as possible. Lieutenant Palmer, tell Mr. Scott to expedite repairs on the warp drive. Poor well, Matt. <laughs> he gave his life in an attempt to save others. Yeah. Not the worst way to go. Ironic, isn't it? Way back in the 20th century, the H-bomb was the ultimate weapon, their doomsday machine. And we used something like it to destroy another doomsday machine. Mm. Probably the first time such a weapon has ever been used for constructive purposes. However, I can't help wondering if there are any more of those weapons. For real. Well, I certainly hope not. I found one quite sufficient. <laughs> Ditto! I like that. All right. All right, fam. So this was the episode titled see dooms the doomsday machine so in this episode our crew got to meet the crew of the constellation i believe the name of the of, well not the crew but the captain of the constellation which is a commodore and uh the commodore and i are not friends <laughs> so i was very upset because he would not listen um he was so focused on the fact that he lost his crew and that the machine was responsible for the loss of his crew that he couldn't get um, insight from other people. He was just so focused on his pain and his anger that he couldn't see that other people were probably more suited for command than he was. Um, which is funny because I, I would have thought that they, again, I watched the J.J. Abrams Star Trek, so I would have thought they would have used like the whole emotional situation as a reason, but I don't know if it was because he wasn't formally evaluated, so they couldn't really see that he was emotionally compromised. Um, but I thought that that would have been a good reason as to, to relieve him of duty. Um, so while he was in command of the Enterprise, he made some crazy-ass... Um, decisions that put the whole crew in jeopardy but thankfully people were safe i did hear about the casualties i don't know how the extent of the casualties but some people unfortunately lost their lives because of his bad decisions on top of his crew that passed away as well so um at the end he sacrificed himself to be able to try to stop the machine unfortunately it didn't do much but at least it gave uh captain kirk an idea as to how he could potentially bring down this doomsday machine so thankfully our crew's fine more or less our ship is okay at least it's recovering our captain is back on the ship where he belongs 
and we are back on track to continue our journey. So um, again, another great episode. Love this show. I can't wait for next week to see more episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you thought about the Commodore because I didn't like him. I didn't like him because he doesn't listen. <laughs> And uh, and I don't like when people pull rank just to pull rank. And yeah, he just rubbed me off the wrong way. So let me know what you thought about him and what you guys thought about the episode. So I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye for now.